Welcome to my cooking show, The Natural Cook. I am Anna Gershenson. I have been eating healthy, delicious food all my life, and I've been cooking it myself. You don't have to have a lot of money or to be an expert to eat well. Today, I'm going to show you how. Today, we are going to be cooking lentil salad with Napa cabbage and cilantro with lime ginger sesame dressing. We are also going to make pineapple dressed with lime, mint, cardamom, and a bit of honey. Sounds delicious, doesn't it? I have picked the ingredients that are going to be going into my salads today because they are packed with nutrients. They are really nutrition powerhouses. The first one is the lentil. Let's start cooking it and then I'll tell you more about it. In order to cook the lentils, I pick them because they are in the bean family that's so good for you. However, they don't take hours to cook. They don't need to be soaked. Let's put them into our pot. We are putting about a cup of lentils, and we are adding about three cups of water. Let me turn on the stove. The water should be covering the lentils by about two inches. You want to have plenty of water for them to cook in. We'll bring them to boil, and then we'll add salt, about a teaspoon of salt. Let me do it right away. Lentils absorb flavors amazingly well. So you want to add something to it, like a bay leaf and some crushed garlic. When you crush the garlic, then the flavors come out more easily. So I just press on it, and it releases, and drop it into the lentils. OK, now once they come to boil, it's important to lower the heat because it's a protein. So if it's going to be cooking over very high heat, it's going to contract, and you want to have it simmering very, very gently. And it will be partially covered. It will take about 20 minutes, that's all. All you want to do is by the time the 20 minutes are up, you can set up your timer, by the way, um, take a spoon, taste the lentil. It doesn't have to be um, very soft. It should have a little bite to it. So, um, lentils. Here are four kinds I brought for you. Green lentils that we usually put into soups. They would get kind of mushy, but still hold their shape. Pink lentils that are great for soups as well, and also dips. They will fall apart completely and thicken your soup and release all their nutritious goodness into your soup. And these are two lentils that are wonderful for salads. They are black beluga lentil and French de puy, which hold their shape well, but you have to watch them as they are cooking, not to overcook them, because you want to have that little bite. So what is so special about lentils? Lentils are really very full of nutrients. They have protein. They have um, protein that is close to animal protein, but no fat. They have B vitamins, magnesium, iron, folate. Um, they improve your digestion. They speed up your metabolism. They are uh, helping your heart muscle relax. They 
they are wonderful. So I think I've said enough to entice you to eat them. Now, the next thing that goes into this salad is Napa cabbage. Napa cabbage is a vegetable that came to us from China sometime around 15th century. And it's mostly being used in Eastern Mediterranean, in Eastern, um, in, uh, in East Asia, like Japan, Korea, um, China. They are a cruciferous vegetable that is going to go raw into your salad. It's important to have cruciferous, cruciferous vegetables or brassica vegetables going raw into your salad because um, they, that's how they release their best nutrients. I have, I have washed it and I have removed the outer leaves. So now I cut it in half horizontally and I'm going to show you how easy and fast you can just slice it for your salad. You just um, take the whole half and push it down, hold it, and cut it thinly into shreds. And this is, this is going to be delicious, crunchy, it will soften with dressing, and it's going to go into your salad. Okay, so now I'm switching to making dressing for this salad. I have to take care of it now, simply because the garlic that I'm going to be putting into the dressing has kind of like very powerful, strong flavor. And by sitting and marinating in lime juice, it's going to soften. So I peeled my garlic. I'm going to peel my ginger because I want to show you how easy it is to do it with a spoon. You just take the spoon, and this is my bowl where I'm going to be collecting all my um, leftovers and whatever I don't need in cooking. So I just peel ginger very easily. And then I'm going to use the grater to grate it into the bowl together with the garlic. So garlic goes into the bowl. It's one clove of garlic. Make then some ginger. I can smell it. It is so powerful and you can imagine how much good it's going to do for your body. It's improved digestion. It's good when you have colds. And by the way, all the nutrients that are going into your body, they are ready to fight invaders that are, might attack you. They are like Luke Skywalkers on your plate. Now I'm adding lime juice and some salt. I can always add salt. Try not to put too much at the beginning because you cannot take it away, but you can always add back. Take a little whisk, combine them together, and let them just sit relax, blend. Okay, so the next vegetable that is going to go into my salad is scallion. Scallion is in the onion family. That is also very, very powerful, very good for you and good to eat raw. So I'm going to slice scallions. First I wash them, of course, and both greens and white parts go into the salad. So I'm going to cut them. You can do it a little bit on a bias if you want, or straight. As you see, I'm holding my scallions tightly so that they don't run away from me. And um, my fingers that my knife is touching are directing the width of the scallion that I want. Okay, looks good. Now, I'm going to put some jalapeno. Jalapeno will add nice spiciness to our salad. So I'm going to cut away the green part, staying away from the seeds. 
the seeds are really spicy. If you really like spice, you might want to add them. Then I'm going to put each rib on the cutting board and cut it long way and then chop it up and we are ready. Okay, let's add it to the one that's already pre-cut. Okay. Celery. Celery is really undeserved vegetable. Meaning, it's not undeserved. It's, it's a very respected vegetable that doesn't really get enough attention in, in, in cooking. And I, I'm going to put it into my salad because it's it also adds a lot of nutrients, a lot of fiber, and it ha it's, it's a very low-fat vegetable. And the way I'm going to cut it, I washed the celery in water to release all the dirt. And now I'm not even going to separate the ribs. I'm just going to hold them together and cut them, and that makes it very easy and less work for you. Okay. So now that we have our vegetables, another one, which is a fruit for sweetness that I'm going to add to the salad is a mango. Mango is also full of nutrients, carotenoids that are wonderful for your eyes. I already have them pre-chopped, however, I quickly will show you how I peel it. Okay. Then I'm going to put it on a cutting board. And to release the pit, I'm going to place my knife where the pit is and feel it parallel to the cutting board. Just cut around push on it nicely so that it stays on the board and rotate until you feel that the pit is released. Now you can cut it in half horizontally and then into a dice. And your mango is ready for your salad. Okay, now let's go back to the lentils. I'm going to um, dress the lentils. I have already pre-cooked them, of course, and it's very important to have them warm when you are dressing them because lentils absorb flavors very easily. So you want to either use your dressing or use rice vinegar and hot sesame oil. So here are my lentils. They are warm. They are a little crunchy. I'm going to drizzle them a little bit with rice vinegar. and hot pepper sesame oil and I'm going to toss them together so that they can cool and sit and absorb the flavors. Now that the flavors are absorbed, I'm going to add all the other ingredients that I have prepared. However, I want to finish the dressing first. So here I already have ginger garlic, lime juice and salt. I'm going to add hot sesame oil. If you don't want the flavor to be too strong, you can also add just a little bit of it and some neutral oil, like either avocado oil or grapeseed oil or canola oil. Make sure that they are known GMO, would be preferable if they're organic. So now I'm going to taste. Okay. Mm. 
the flavor is very potent because garlic and ginger are very strong as well as lime is quite acidic. I'll add a little bit more hot sesame oil so it comes through and it will do magic for our salad. Okay, so now that we have our lentils here, we are going to, I'll show you how I dress my salad. I don't like dressing salad in a bowl because I like to touch and handle my ingredients very sparingly um, so that they are not getting mushed together and overhandled. So that's why I like using this half sheet pan. So you can use whatever big tray you have at home. And then I'm going to be putting vegetables one on top of the other to onto this, onto this um, pan and then dress them and gently fold them together. So first goes Napa. And by the way, all the flavors were dictated by the choice of Napa cabbage because um, you could add any vegetables to lentil salad and make it Mediterranean, you can make it um, Asian, but I decided to do Napa because of its, its cruciferous vegetable and its healthy qualities, and so the rest was dictated by this. By, I chose also scallions that go nicely with it. Um, for that reason, I also chose mango because these flavors go well together with lime. Cilantro is another ingredient that I chose today. Um, it is also a real powerhouse. It serves as detoxifier. It takes heavy metals out of your body. Um, what I do, I take off some heavier stems, but I, I, I don't just use the leaves, I use the stem as well because the stem is packed with flavor, so I keep it, unlike parsley. So now I'm going to chop my cilantro. Okay, and it's going to go into the salad together with our other vegetables. Do you see how beautiful and colorful it is? Don't you want to eat it already? Okay, another ingredient I chose is sesame seeds. You can toast them either in the oven at 350 degrees for probably about like four to five minutes. Watch them, they are very small or on top of the stove. I prefer using top of the stove because then I can watch them carefully. I will sprinkle sesame seeds because eating nuts and seeds is very important. They have um, lignans and they have beautiful oils and they help also, work, they work in tandem with all other nutrients that you are putting into your salad. So now that I have all my ingredients here, I'm going to dress my salad. Um, pour some dressing throughout the middle, as you can see. And then I'll be tasting, because it's very important to taste what you are cooking. You always need to change, add something. You cannot take away, <laughs> so be careful. Now, as you can see, this looks like I'm tossing together every small part of, your, of the salad. So I'm handling very gently and combining all the ingredients so that everything gets coated, everything gets the flavor of the dressing, they all mingle together. It looks beautiful. What you could also use here, instead of mango, you could use red pepper. Definitely red color would look very pretty here. So now, that I have dressed it, it's time to taste it. Make sure that everything is on the spoon. Mm. 
I can feel the crunch of every ingredient. It tastes really delicious and strong. Now we are going to make something with our beautiful pineapple. I saw it at the supermarket. It looks absolutely beautiful, fragrant. That's how you can tell that it's ripe. And then you're going to start handling it. Before we go to the pineapple, let's make the dressing for the pineapple. We are going to use lime, ground um, cardamom, a little bit of sea salt, and honey. When you choose your lime, make sure that it's nice and soft because sometimes they are hard and then you know you won't get any juice out of them. Roll them, get some zest off of them. Microplane is great for it. All the oils, all the wonderful citrus oils are in the zest, so you don't want to lose that flavor. Now you are going to roll again, cut, and use the juice. You can put it into this beautiful juicer. You can do it also by hand or with a fork by twisting it like that. And I already have some ready here, so I'm going to add it. Cardamom is one of my favorite spices. It's fragrant, it's exotic. Let's add it. Just maybe eighth of a teaspoon. We can always add more. Now we are going to add our honey. Not too much. You can always add more if your pineapple is not too sweet, but if it's sweet, you don't really want to have too much honey there. Okay. And when I make something sweet, I always add a pinch of sea salt to balance the flavors, kind of yin and yang. Mix them together. And of course, taste. Mm. Really yummy. I think I'll add a little bit of more cardamom because it doesn't really come through exactly. Okay, now pineapple. Let me show you how to clean it quickly. First, we cut off the crown. And by the way, pineapples came to us from the West Indies a long, long time ago. They were praised to the heavens. They were on the West Indies island of Guadalupe and they were called the prince or actually princess and then the king of the fruit because of the aroma, because of all the wonderful flavors they offer, but they also offer wonderful enzymes. It's very good for digestion to have pineapple. So as you see, I'm just turning it around and cutting off the outer side, making sure that there are no eyes and if I see eyes somewhere, I'll just clean them off quickly. Okay, let's get rid of our peel. It goes into the garbage. And by the way, this is what uh, the sailors were leaving when they were conquering other lands and planting and where the land was perpetuous, it was growing. Now we'll cut in half. We want to get rid of the core. You see how beautiful and yellow it is? It means that it's not going to be really puckerish. Okay, let's cut out the core down the middle, and then we're ready to cut it into chunks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now we're going to put it into a bigger bowl because you don't want to have a bowl that is too small. It won't be convenient for you to dress it everything will be falling out. So always have a bigger bowl for mixing your things. Okay. All right. Now let's dress our pineapple. It smells so good, sweet, aromatic. Mm. Okay, I'm pouring the dressing over. And now I'm going to toss it and taste it, of course, but before I do, I'm going to add mint. 
Mint is a beautiful, beautiful herb <clears throat> that goes very well with pineapple. It's good for your digestion. And the way I do it is I take all the leaves together and I use, I roll it and I use the scissors just to cut and it falls into my pineapple. Okay, great. Dress it, taste it. Mmm, yummy. All the flavors come through and you don't know what really is in it because it is so mysteriously delicious. Okay, now you can take the top for decoration and it's ready. So today we prepared this delicious nutritious lentil salad with wonderful vegetables that are going to make you very happy and not only you but your tummy and your whole body and this will help you digest all these beautiful vegetables and lentils. I'm so grateful that you came to watch my show. Thank you. Please go ahead and try it at home and let me know what your experience is. If you have any questions, you can visit my Facebook page, The Natural Cook with Anna Gershenson. And that's it for today. Please come back tomorrow. Bye.